Welcome to this short tutorial on how to compile and deploy MATLAB applications using Cycle Toolbox and Windows. So, as many visual neuroscientists, you might already be using MATLABs and Cycle Toolbox to program your experiments and present some kind of a stimulus to your subjects. However, because of the virus situation worldwide and the social distancing, you might be struggling on how to do so. Perhaps you already considered to learn how to script and run your experiments online on, on a web page, but if that seems too complicated or you cannot find the time to do so, today we are going to see how we can compile your code and send it to others so they can run your experiments even if they don't have a single clue of what MATLAB is. For that, you will need a computer running Windows, a MATLAB version newer than 2016A, I'm going to use 2019B, which uh, already implemented some other uh, new functions in App Designer, which is what I really recommended. Uh, Psycho Toolbox, if you don't have installed it, I recommend to you to install it already. And a bit of time. So, as you can see, here I have Psycho Toolbox open. This is the web page. I recommend you always have the latest version because uh, you will find more fixes and new features. So always try to look on the GitHub version and perhaps if you know how to use it, you can clone it. Anyway, for today, we are going to use one of the scripts from uh, Peter Scarf. So you can see in the web page here, uh, they have a lot of demos and we are going to use uh, the Gabor demo. I fully recommend this web page because they have a lot of humans on how to use a uh, cycle toolbox. Uh, and well, today we are going to use how to display a simple Gower patch. So I'm going to copy the code here. And then go to MATLAB. And then in MATLAB, I'm going to go to Home, Create New, and then Application, you can see here. And this will open uh, the app designer, as you can see, in a new uh, window. And it gives you a lot of templates already, but we are going to use the blank app. Click there. As you can see, we have like a blank interface here where we can just see the components and all the features that or all the uh, properties that these components have they are on the right side. So I'm going to resize a bit the figure and then I'm going to start by placing a start button here. I'm going to do it a bit fast. So you can slow down the video if you want, but it's just basically uh, how I just place the start icon to my like. Like you can change the color of the background. You can even place an icon, whatever you want. It's really uh, rich, this uh, app designer. And then we are going to go to the code view. And then we're going to create a callback. So a callback is a code that is execute uh, when something is done by the user. In this case, when we are going to press the button start on the application, we are going to run the code. So here you can see callback for the start button. And you can see here, uh, I'm going to copy paste the code. So I'm going to paste the code we had. I'm going to remove these three first lines since you, we are not going to clear any variable in the application and they are not needed. Then I'm going to indent all the code uh, just for styling and reliability. And as you can see, we have all the code from the web page just copy pasted. You might see here that there are a few uh, parameters that are easy to tune, like orientation or contracts, and those are the ones we are going to create something on the interface to change them. After this, we are going to go to the interface back again, and we are going to include one spinner here, and one edit box. So if I will start with the edit box, which is going to be the contrast. You can see here, I'm going to change the label, and I'm going to change the, uh, the styling of it a bit. So I'm going to do it a bit fast, you can see here, placing And now I'm going to 
include a spinner for the orientation. So just here, I'm gonna align it, perfect. Then I'm gonna change the name of this spinner to orientation. Make it the same size. Then I'm gonna change the limits, as you can see. And I'm gonna include a uh, slider where you can just change the contrast so I'm going to change the name of the slider to contrast slider just apply the limits I'm going to do it a bit fast yeah and then we end up with this two to synchronize so to synchronize these we are going to need to create a callback here you can see right click on the slider callback callback when value is changing and then we are going to define that the value that is changing is going to be the same that that appears in the edit box. So for that we write up contrast edit field value and that's it. Okay, you can see App Designer gives you autocomplete so it's pretty easy. Otherwise you have the components on the right side of the screen. You can always check the properties. And uh, we are gonna do exactly the same for the edit bo for the edit box where we are gonna just make it so if it changes it changes as well the slider. So for that we click on the edit box and then we create the call block again and this similar way to the previous one but in this case we are going to place here up dot contrast slider dot value and uh, there it goes so now we are going to comment the code i will remind you that it's really important that you comment your code as if somebody else will read it so please do it and here we go we place the same to the other one and then we are going to place the default parameters here so yeah place 0 0.8 for the value, contrast value 0 for orientation and then we save the application After we save the application, you can see if we can have the interface already and we are going to just change here in the code orientation and contrast match whatever we just type in the uh, interface. So for that we click on orientation and then we remove the zero and place up orientation spinner value and similarly for the contrast we place up contrast a field dot value. Then we are going to run the application. For that, we press F5 or we click on the green arrow. And as you can see, we have the interface here. Uh, we have the default parameters 0 and 0 0.8. And then if we press star, you can see that then it displays a Gower patch oriented to 0, or like the original 0, and with the contrast value of 0 0.8. But if we modify this to 45 and 0 0.8, then if we click a star, it will change those parameters and display our patch oriented to 45 degrees and with a contrast value of 0.5 as we place. Finally, I'm going to um, modify a bit the interface. So I'm going to do it a bit fast forward because it's just like making a bit nicer the application. You can slow down anyway to see what I did. And whenever I got this save, what I'm going to do is go to app details and you can, you can see here that I can implement some other values and then I'm going to compile the application. For that, I will go click on share. I will use a standalone app and then you can see here I have like a bunch of options like I can change the icons, splash screen, everything. I can uh, include uh, some other details in, in the installation notes such as, for example, you first will have to install the other streamer or visual uh, redistributable libraries from Visual uh, Studio. And then uh, what you will see here also is that we have a list of uh, files that are included by MyLab. So uh, by default, not all files are included by MyLab, so therefore we should go to uh, 
C and then our cycle toolbox and add all the files that we need for it because the dependencies from cycle toolbox are not included by default. In our case, we use OpenGL to show this uh, our patch. So we are going to include all the files in OpenGL. But uh, you might be requiring other files like psych audio, depending on what you use in your experiment. Uh, if you don't know what are the dependencies that are not included by MATLAB, I fully recommend you to include all the files from Psycho Toolbox. But consider that this is going to increase uh, the size of your application considerably. So if you know which ones are, just include the ones you need. Then we are going to click on our package and then we are going to compile it. After it's compiled, uh, you are going to get a folder with for ready distribution where you can find your application an executable file that you can send to your colleagues to your supervisor or uh, whoever you want and they can execute without having to uh, get MATLAB or any other application or know how to get install it when you got this uh, you, we are going to show you how to do it in a then in a clean computer as the one we are going to show you. Uh, you will have to install the GS streamer and see if you were installing a Psycho Toolbox and the visual ready distribute tables here uh, that are also required to run Psycho Toolbox. Um, I'm just doing it here, you can see. You can probably you will probably want to include those to send it to whoever you want to install the application and then after both of them are installed which you can see here you can install your application uh, your application depending on whether you include the runtime or not uh, will be uh, taking longer or will require internet or not uh, after you install the application you will find it in the windows apps and then the name you gave it to it and as you can see here uh, if you execute it uh, and then you just click on start it works perfectly so um, let me know if there is any doubt or anything i can help you with i hope this was useful and see you